All of my life, let me tell you a story. He's been good, the Lord. All of my life, let me tell you a story. He's been good, the Lord. All of my life, let me tell you the story. Brothers and sisters, if you would, go with me Go with me to the hymn, the hymnal of the Bible. You would go with me to Psalms. Go to Psalm 121. Psalm 121. And if you have that particular passage of scripture, we're thankful for your reverence as you stand for the reading of God's word. <clears throat> We'll just read the first verse. First verse says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. God bless you. Brothers and sisters, I think for, for the purpose of emphasis, I would like to read the second verse as well. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. I just want to stand before you just a few minutes, use as a title, looking onward and upward. Looking onward and upward. My brothers and sisters, our fraternity Alpha Phi Alpha uses a motto that says onward and upward toward the light. Brothers and sisters, this suggests, brothers and sisters, that when one moves on, you move forward, doing as Paul says, forgetting those things that are behind you, those things that perhaps would hinder you from being focused on what is before you move onward. And brothers and sisters, you look upward because you realize that it is not by your strength that you move on, but it is by the power of the Lord. So therefore, brothers and sisters, we move onward and we move upward. But we realize in our time and in our society we encounter a lot of news. It is an undeniable fact that as we reflect on this year, a lot has transpired within the year 2018. It is undeniable and it is without a doubt that we all have encountered some good news, and all of us have encountered some good, some bad, and the ugly. As a matter of fact, brothers and sisters, today and tomorrow, television networks would probably be bombarded with the top news stories and the year-end reviews and headlines. 
And if by chance you have a moment to watch news, you would perhaps see many of the highlights of the national news. Perhaps you'd see um, the fact that our government is in a shutdown. If you look at the news, you would perhaps see that Democrats and Republicans are in a tug of war over the budget, over $5.1 billion to build a wall between the United States and the Mexico border. We watch news, brothers and sisters, and time after time we see mass shootings. We watch the news, brothers and sisters, and we see things that have transpired during uh, this year, some good and some bad. Some of us watched the news this year, and when we looked at sports, we saw that Kobe uh, moved from Cleveland to Los Angeles. If we watch the news, some people are happy, and some people are sad. But brothers and sisters, as we watch the news, we, without a doubt, will discover that there have been some highs and there have been some lows. But brothers and sisters, what about when we examine ourselves? What if the news could highlight our own individual lives? What if the news could give a report on our personal and individual situation? Brothers and sisters, I'm not sure whether we realize it or not, but it is a blessing in counting our days. It is a blessing in counting our, our days. It is a blessing in counting those birthdays. It is a blessing in keeping track of where God has brought you from. It is a blessing as we get to the end of the year, understanding that we have 365 blessings that we can thank God for. I'm reminded of my smartwatch. Brothers and sisters, when I look at my smartwatch uh, in an effort to maintain healthy uh, cardiovascular health, uh, uh, in an effort to maintain a healthy heart, some days I can set my watch to count my steps. Anybody in here ever counted the steps? And, and then what it does, brothers and sisters, it not only counts your steps, but it tries to count the calories that you've burned. In other words, somebody missing it today. In other words, it is keeping track of where you've been. And brothers and sisters, it is projecting where you're going. I'm trying to help somebody in here. In other words, in order for us to keep a healthy spiritual heart, we've got to count where we've been and try to project where we're going. Somebody still now. Well, well, Reverend, where do you see that biblically? I'm glad you asked me. Psalms 90 and 12, it, the psalmist says, teach us to number our days. Is there anybody in here that likes to number their days and then when you number your days, you say, thank you, Lord. Teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. In other words, brothers and sisters, uh, teach us to realize the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom. In my divine mind's eye of, of imagination, brothers and sisters, I can just see those folks as they were coming to church. I can see them as they were getting closer to the presence of God. Some of them as they began to count uh, January, as they began to count February, as they continued to own their journey, as they thought about
about the things chronologically that has happened in their lives. I just, in my divine eye of imagination, I believe somebody's heart began to boil and somebody perhaps said, thank you, Lord. You didn't have to do it. Mm, all of my life, let me tell you a story. He's been good, the Lord. Mm, all of my life, let me tell you a story. He's been good, the Lord. Mm, all of my life, let me tell you. 